thought I'd give a little tour of my galley, give you builders some ideas, uh, some thoughts that go into this thing. We find that our galley is uh, kind of the center of our camp out at least twice a day. Uh, this is a 17 year evolution, 17 years of tear dropping. I'm pretty pleased with this and at this point in time I can't think of anything else I'd add to it. Of course the uh, hatch has got a LED light in it. I like these angled ones so they point more down than in your face. Uh, we use Viva paper towel rolls so that they won't unroll while you're heading down the road. That's a ratcheting folder we picked up on from Amazon. This little gizmo over here is a piece of plywood cut in a U-shape with a couple of very strong magnets added. We use that to hang a, a grocery bag from while we're cooking back here for garbage. Uh, everything back here is held in place, so there's there's nothing that uh, surprises us when we open the hatch as far as loose stuff banging around. We use these French press coffee mugs for coffee in the morning. Uh, I would love to found a piece of stainless steel, but in this little one uh, horse town, I couldn't find any. That's galvanized steel, and I'm very happy with it the way it works out. Everything here, drawers, uh, the stove slider, the stove itself is locked in place. Uh, this is our trusty Reliant 7-gallon water jug. It's good to have quick access to running water. While you're cooking, garbage sacks. You can see how I uh, hold the uh, stove in place, excuse me, the cooler in place. The stove's got the same bolt lock in there. The uh, Propex heater is back there, and I can't believe how great that thing is. Uh, we've only had this teardrop for about six months, and that thing's just wonderful on a cold night with 180 degree uh, thermostat controlled heat blowing inside. Use a very little propane. Knock everything down. I got these latches on eBay and they're also available on uh, Amazon. What's great about them is they, once, once that button's pushed, that, that drawer is locked in place. So nothing's going to be bouncing around back here. Holler if you need a link to those things. Got lots of storage back here. Our camp griddle uh, lives right here on the right. Got to have a griddle. Trusty, uh, I think it's Coglin's uh, toaster goes on the stove. So the stove slider works the same way. This is a partner stove made in Pocatello, Idaho. And uh, teardrops on a little bit of a cant right now. But but I chose this stove because I needed a short stove for this uh, to be able to fit under the counter like this thing. And partner will sell them to you either made with an uh, intake on the right or the left. And I needed it coming from the side, wouldn't work in the back the way I wanted this thing hard plumbed in. Uh, I thought about going with a. Let me set this phone down. I thought about going with a RV stove on this thing, propane stove, and I decided we definitely needed a windscreen. Uh, but we really like this thing. There it is with a windscreen up. I can't imagine cooking without a windscreen. These uh, are great with a, a tiny little simmer or a full blast of, of heat. Uh, they're super easy to clean. They're expensive. They're well made. I've got experience with these things on uh, river trips. They're 
they're the stove to go for uh, uh, Colorado or Maine salmon or Middle Fork of the salmon. They're real popular around here for that reason. All TIG welded. I certainly wanted a hard plumbed uh, stove. We've got 11 uh, gallon propane, 11 pound propane bottle on the on the front. I don't know if you caught that lock or not. Everything's locked in here. I'm not sure if I call this the electrical box or what, but uh, the uh, solar controller is here. You probably saw the 100 watt solar controller on top of the roof. Uh, I like that thing. There's a Bluetooth attachment with that thing. I can actually uh, log in with my phone to check the production at any given point in time and also the battery voltage. It's producing 19 volts right now with zero amps. And the reason that no amps is that the battery's uh, full right now because it's sitting out here in the sun. This is a Bayite uh, meter. I uh, really like that thing. As you can see on here, this last two night trip, we used 175 watts of power total. The battery's at 14 volts. And if you divide that 171 by the voltage, you'll show and see that we used about 12 amps on this last trip, which the solar system is easy, will easily uh, replace uh, in three hours. If you divide that by two, you get six amps per day usage and so we recover that within a couple hours uh, you can reset that to zero by pushing that button there uh, dual usb charger for phones we got two usb chargers in the cabin too of course this is a 12 volt outlet uh, we'll probably rarely use that thing but i on our previous teardrops we used one back here a time or two for odd things. This is an on and off switch for the Propex heater even though it's thermostat controlled inside. I wanted that because there's a little bit of a parasitic draw from the heater when, when, when it's not in use. I don't know if we'll use it that much this summer but normally that'll be off. Uh, this thing that looks like a, a, a kill switch for the system is really a, a on off for the battery charging system from the tow vehicle. And I put that in because we got a uh, AGM Group 24 VMAX battery behind the water jug and they take a little bit higher voltage which this thing will maintain at, uh, uh, and I only wanted to put that in there a power from the tow vehicle in case the battery is really low and we're going to get up and move somewhere which after ex using this thing for a lot of nights so far, I can't even envision turning that thing on. But that's what that button does. And uh, it might be overkill because I think some people get along just fine with uh, ch ch uh, charging their AGMs off their tow vehicle. But they're not cheap and that's what I wanted to do. But anyway, I hope this uh, little tour gives you uh, something to think about and uh, helps you with your build. And happy camping. Thanks for watching.